guys, this is Design Center of Maniac. We here we have another Transform review, and this time it's Transformers Age of Extinction's Evasion Mode Optimus Prime. So here he is, and he's in his rusty truck form, which and we've seen this in the trailer, and he's in his rusty truck form because he's hiding away from the humans who are hunting down Autobots. And so he took this mode and um Kate Yager played by Mark Wahlberg eventually bought bought this truck not not knowing it was a transformer at first at first he was gonna use it to dismantle it down so he can use it for spare parts luckily he didn't because that means he'll be taking part of transformer without even realizing so here he is so you can see all this like a he's just a rusty truck and in the toy here's like here's like um in his G1 colors, which is fine, and I understand why, because it's just only only one way to please the G the G1 fans who were not happy with Bay Formers, and they they keep complaining, and, and to me it's just really annoying just to hear that. So this is the only way to please them, and it looks cool, but but I want to make it movie accurate because this is Transformers: Age of Extinction, it's not Transformers Generation One re modeled so that's why i decided to went with this instead of red and blue and he does look pretty cool see his wheels this is a, the new new standard wheels which was from the the, the tumbler that set and you can see the standard wheels i always use which um i have a, i need to get one of those big tires so i can use it for hound and and um, the Western Star truck for Optimus, but uh, I might have to order those because I don't. I only had four sets of those, with four wheels. I meant not six wheels in total, which I need. And so, yep, here he is. It's really cool. And let's get down to the transformation. Now, if you have seen my my previous video, I said um I didn't want to go with the transformation on the like the toy did because it's it's too complicated. And it's it's almost like transforming a Rubik's cube. So I decided to try and go as simple as possible, which is funny because I never went simple. Complexity is my thing. I'm just notorious for that. So first, what you want to do? Let's just get these out of the way. Push these up at front. Open these. I mean, I shouldn't have pushed it. Okay. Open this panel up. Same here, and rotate this around. Bring it down like that. Do the same thing here like that you could just leave these mirrors open because because um they're just nice to hammer and what we can do we can fold these um front bumpers back like that and just split this panel next what we're gonna do come around flip his feet up And we can get with his legs. But first, we need to un. You see, um, there's his shoulder pads here. You need to untab that from the back of his leg, and move this front and tab it in place. And now for the legs, what you want to do? Bring these these pads up and around. Like that. Just like that. With his legs. Do the same to the other side. Angle up. Rotate out. So you can create his knee pads. And rotate his feet. Now, next thing we're gonna do. Now we have this giant mangled mess. So we're gonna fold this part of the shoulder blade, shoulders for now, just so we can get these out of the way. Um, yeah. It's just so we can fold these panels up, just so we can rotate this part of the arm straighten it just like that and get these out of the way and 
you just gotta get these out of the way just so it can work. And his smokestack fell. So, and then get this out of the way so we can fold out the arm like that. And then fold this panel up. You can see um, there's a tab here. You, you tab this, um, fold it in like that. You can see the arms in two parts. It's kind of hard to tab it in, but you can just like leave it like that if you wish. Fold this top thing up. And just leave it like that. And um, I guess we and we can do this part of the chest. What you need to do, angle this, angle this too, just so you can get his chest. Bring this thingy up to re represent a smokestack, and fold this all the way down. And there we have this side, and we can we should get his head up. So everything's easier. Rotate his head around. You know, I, I think I actually made a complicated design a lot complicated than how Hasbro did it. But uh, it's my loss anyway. Uh, that, that fell apart quickly. Well, he has a rusty truck. Uh, one thing I noticed in the trailer, when he transformed in his robot mode from his rusty truck, he um, he still had his um, red and blue color, but it was a little faded. I don't get how that how that works. So I, but I didn't want to bother going over that. So I just went with tan for everything, because I I just think that's just more. I think that just seems more suitable. Let me get all that. Well, I don't think you guys saw that. Anyway, it's basically the same thing. Then fold down his shoulders. His arm should be up more. Uh, these mirrors are not cooperating well. Rotate them like that. Same for the other side, rotate, rotate, not pop out like a Lego brick. We're almost done. Here we just need to get this back, just angle this back down like that. Here, make sure everything's straightened out, make sure everything's nice and proportionate. Oh, this arm isn't all the way up. Straighten his arm. I forgot to fold that out, didn't I? Whoop. Rotate his hands. Rotate his hands. And make sure he's standing straight. And here we have Optimus in his robot mode. You can see. Just like my previous design, he is a little bit chunky, but eh, it doesn't really matter to me that much. Because at least I got this guy done finally. You can see his legs. Now the one thing I noticed um, in the trailer, he he had two wheels on his thigh and one here. But I don't know how to do that, especially on a flat nose truck. So I just I just left it like that because and besides it's not that bad anyway. Because he has the standard toes. He has that same shoulder piece and a smokestack on it. Basically, it's it's just fake, because um, even though he transforms a rusty truck mode, which I noticed it, ha it has one smokestack, but he managed to have two on his shoulders. I don't know how that happens, but I, uh, it's, it's Transformers and it's Michael Bay. There's mass shifting. There's a lot of crazy stuff happening. You can see his face. He has a nice face. This is his mask. He's all tan. Yeah, there's nothing that much really, because. Other than that, he's all other than he's all tan. You can see these um, tankers are supposed to represent the tankers on his back. 
So yeah, if you, uh, if you want what you can also do, you can uh, have his mouthpiece and you can just replace it with that. And it, it doesn't really look that different other than it's a little, it's tan and it's just a tan jumper plate, brown. So you can see, that's what it looks like. Nothing too special. And let's get his um, mask, mask on because I like the mask better. And he, his feet is on a ball joint. And it's not like he's unstable, it's just he's a little bit top heavy, more so on this, this, this area. He does have a lot of stuff in the back. Anyway, his accessories, he, he has his, oh, dang, just dropped that. He has his gun. I think I think I, I think I set it up a little wrong. Anyway, so which is um which is like um in the toy it looked like Megatron's gun. I, I don't know why he carries that around because I'm pretty sure he threw that away in disgust in Transformers: Dark of the Moon. So yeah, you can there's his handle. You can uh, open his hands, have him hold it. It's a little heavy, and <laughs> it's so heavy that his his shoulder is just like flopping down. So yeah, so that's his gun. It, it his gun looks pretty cool, I have to say, and it looks really nice. You can see all these detailing I added here, I built, and yeah, it looks it looks pretty cool. He's pretty. I have to say, he's pretty tall. Um, he's pretty one of the tallest ones I I made. Uh, one of the tallest, I have to say, because we we know that Devastator is the tallest I ever made so far. And the second may be Shockwave, and but he's close, so he's pretty tall, and which makes sense because he is a he's the leader of the Autobot, and he is tall. But imagine Grimlock, he would be like like that. But I'm obviously I'm not gonna do that. So um, I know you guys been leaving suggestions. Thank you guys for reminding me of some I missed, like like um G1 Six Shot. I missed that. And I have some new ones like Age of Extinction Galvatron. And yeah, so after this, it will be the Triple Train Changer for Boys and Wolves Toys. And after that, I'll do another suggestion by draw picking a random one. Alright, so see you guys, and that's, that's it.